We flew from Islamabad and we were on a very small uh, twin engine United Nations plane and we landed at Kabul airport but at the time it was still uh, quite a hot area, quite a dangerous area and you couldn't go make a, a straight in approach to the airport. We did what was called a corkscrew descent and what that involves is dropping from about 2,000 feet in a very very quick tight turn so you go straight down and straight into the runway. The idea is that no one can shoot you out of the sky because you're a moving target. As soon as we landed, the door came down and the rush and the smell of Afghanistan came wafting, wafting through the cabin and the pilot, who was a bit of a wag at the time, I think he was a Swedish pilot, he said, welcome to Afghanistan where the time is. He said, please be careful, there are landmines everywhere. And at this point, every sense in my body was completely switched on and I thought, mum, where are you right now? What am I doing? And as we stepped off the plane, I could hear the landmines being going off because they were demining. I had a very, uh, an extremely quick handover with the producer who was coming out. He was going to fly home to see his family and I was taking over from him. We had a very quick handover on the runway with the engines turning and he basically he just gave me, he gave me a five, five minute snapshot of Afghanistan as it was then. And he gave me a pile of notes, which were about this many and they were worth about two pounds. And he said, have a great time. And, uh, and then I was introduced to our driver, uh, Mossan, who previously had been a judge, but then when the Taliban had taken over, he had been, uh, he'd been made uh, redundant. And he was now working as a taxi driver. He was talking at 100 words a minute, and he was going to drive me to our office, in, uh, to our base in Kabul. And as we left the airport gates, we just stopped briefly, and I looked out the window, and I looked down at the floor, and I could see a 250 pound bomb sticking out of the ground with four fins like that and I just thought oh my god what have I got myself into